Hey guys, Kev here, and I'm going to do my full review on the Fanatic Edge modded Chavez 229 with the frag pattern and the blue Cerakote on all the hardware, all right? So I'm really excited to wrap this one up, and, um, you know, normally I try to hold off as long as I can when I really love a knife, because that means I won't be carrying it anymore, but... I've had three of these now, uh, Chavez 229s. This is my third. Um, and I know now, like, I'm not, this, I'm not giving this up. I mean, something would have to happen for that to happen. Um, I just, I don't know. I, I just really love the design. And then the, the extra, like, specialness that it has because of Fanatic Edge working on it. Um, it, I just don't see it going anywhere like the other ones did. And I had the other ones months ago. I let them go because I wasn't carrying them. And uh, I sold the wrong one when I had two. Um, I had basically this version, but with plain tie over here, plain tie clip, G10 without the frag pattern, and obviously no Cerakote, right? Um, and then I, I bought that first. And I really liked it, right? And the only issue I really had with it um was like the the corners were kind of sharp on the g10 um and then i got the blackout right i got the all titanium blacked out uh version of the knife with dlc blade and then i was like i should sell one because i'm like 800 dollars into chavez at this point and i don't need two like so i ended up selling the g10 one because i was like that blackout is rare and really cool. And, you know, it was kind of like the cool factor that led me to keep that one. Um, and I eventually sold that one, too, because I wasn't carrying it. Because, one, I'm not a big fan of DLC. I just don't like coated blades. Um, I am a huge fan of grind lines. I want a satin with grind lines. Like, even stone washes are not very interesting to me. Um... So there's that, and then it was heavy as hell with the titanium, because it was full tie. This has G10 on one side, right? That really reduces the weight from like six ounces to like four and a half or five, uh, which is a big deal for me anyway in pocket, um, you know? So, I don't know. So I did that, and then I was like, man, I don't really like, I don't really carry this when I have it because I think it's badass and it's like yeah it's great to have a knife that you think is badass but you're never gonna carry it and i'm the i'm the type of guy who sells shit i don't carry because it's not worth it to me if it's not getting in pocket it's not worth it. i'm not a collector where i want to look at my knives up on a wall like in a glass case like yeah that'd be cool but then i'm gonna take it out and carry it um because that's just money on the wall right i'm not rich like you know so i don't know uh, so I sold that one, and then ever since, I've kind of regretted not having a Chavez um, in the collection, and I figured I'd eventually get a cool one, and then I would kind of just keep it, right? I'm not, like, now I know. I've gone through the experience. Like, that, to me, sorry, I'm getting into the weeds here, but to me, that's, like, what, what shows you how good a knife is, or at least how good a knife is to that individual reviewer or person, right? I've had two of these before, and I sold them both, and now months later, I'm buying another one, the, a more expensive one, and that's because I know my preferences, right? And I know now that I need to have a Chavez in my collection because they're so good, because they're badass, because they're sexy as all get out, and because they're a fantastic knife. I mean, the the compound grind on this, this tan, this is one of the best blades I've ever used. Um, so it just all made sense. The action, the fact that it's made by Riot, and then you have Fanatic Edge involved, like it just was a no brainer. So I guess what I'm saying is like it's really fucking good. <laughs> Because I bought it again, right? Um, I'm an idiot, but whatever. So, you guys have seen this knife before, so I kind of just wanted to give you my backstory there, and then just quickly 
jump through it because I've reviewed this knife. Uh, I just haven't reviewed this version that I just love so much. Um, so aesthetically, right, we have the uh, satin with the belt satin M390 steel. Of course, it's a Chavez from Riot. You have the key right there. Um, and then you have this beautiful frag pattern from a Fanatic Edge. He takes that flat G10 scale or whatever is on it, and he turns it into this gorgeous frag pattern. Um, and then, he obviously, you have that sexy-ass skull clip, which apparently they're getting rid of. Or they're going to be shipping with an extra clip now, uh, which sucks because I'm pretty sure that means they're all going to be mounted from the outside. I hope not. Um, but this just looks sexy. I would never give up the skull clip. It actually works really well. It goes in your pocket really well. It has good retention. It comes out really well. Um, and it looks fucking badass. Who cares if you have a skull sticking out of your pocket? Like, don't be a bitch. Uh, uh, I've carried this to the office a few times. I got this blue skull in my pocket. Nobody said anything. I, and why would they? What are they going to say? What is that? Like, don't carry that? You can't tell me what to do. This is America. You can carry a fucking knife with a skull clip on it. Suck my... You know what I'm saying? Um, anyway. <laughs> sorry. Um, I just think it's badass, and then add the blue accents, that Cerakote is just sexy as fuck. Um, I do want to note that I talked to, uh, Mac, I believe is his name, from Fanatic Edge. We've chatted a bit, and he has a few of these left. Like, not this exact one. I think he might have had one of this exact one left. But he has a bunch of drop points with all different colored Cerakote, frag, holes, different patterns um they're mostly drop points though and the difference basically is that tip isn't there it's just more rounded some people actually really prefer the drop point so fair is fair enough if i had an extra 500 bucks right now i think i would probably buy one of the drop points in a badass like black cherry or something he has um i probably will do that at some point um but i I don't know, because then, then I'm going to have two again, and then I'm going to play the which one do I sell game, and I don't want to make a mistake. Uh, anyway, if you want one, he should still have them available. Just message him on Instagram, or message me, and I'll hit him up. Just know that they're $500, okay? So if you're going to message me and say you want one, or him and say you want one, just be prepared, prepared to pay $500 on the spot, like, in a day or so, he's going to send you an invoice for $500. So, I get it. Sometimes people get excited. And they're like, I want one of those. And you pick one out. And then you're like, well, I can't actually buy it. But it's like, well, why? Right? <laughs> why are you asking then? I don't know. Like, it's fucking weird sometimes. Um, anyway, sorry for that. I'm not trying to be a dick. I'm just saying, if you're going to want something and reach out to get it, just have the money that's all um sorry so yeah so just fantastic knife that's all i'm saying like it's beautiful to me personally i love it um it's a it's a chavez the ergos are good like this um and you know they're not fantastic it's very it's a blocky knife it has some corners i feel like fanatic edge did a great job maybe knock the corners down a little bit on the g10 because i remember the one i had that was one of the reasons I got rid of it was because it felt really kind of pokey on the corners. This feels a bit better um, than that. So ergos are good. It has that jimping that some people hate. Uh, very spaced apart, kind of sharp. I actually really like it. It bites my thumb very well. It doesn't hurt me or anything. Uh, I get good purchase. I really enjoy that, um, that jimping. So... Um, yeah, I mean, ergos are fantastic. Uh, the action, guys, is to die for on this knife. Uh, it just, the detent is just perfect. I mean, Riot nailed it. The thumb flick shoots out. Um, can I fail it? Probably. Ooh, that was close. Yeah, I just failed it. But, I mean, I'm seriously trying. And if I push out like that, I probably could. But if I go vertical, that's the key to this knife. Get underneath 
it's hard to show you. Um, maybe right-handed. Get underneath the thumb stud and shoot straight up. It will fly out of there and lock up every time. It won't feel stiff or anything. It'll just shoot out right. Same with the reverse flick. You get underneath the thumb stud and flick up. And you, you get it every time. Um, the right-handed, again, underneath, flick up. Reverse flick, underneath, flick up. Now, if you're left-handed, just remember you got to be on the clip. So if you're going to reverse flick, put your thumb on the clip and get underneath the thumb stud and flick. If you have any pressure on that lock bar, it is going to seize up. And that goes for righties with the thumb flick. Don't do this, where this finger is all over the lock bar. Clip. Um, just keep that in mind, because I do talk to people who have trouble with this knife, and it's basically just the lock bar. You got It's a knife that I always say I won't make adjustments, or I don't like to make adjustments for knives. And that is true. Uh, but I make exceptions, right? And this is one of them. This knife is so badass that I don't mind lowering my grip a little bit to get on there. And I usually thumb flick it anyway. Um, so it's not a problem. But uh, And then the closing action is the best I've had on one of these. It just is a guillotine. Um, it just drops shut. No worries at all. Um, love it. Riot killed it. Fanatic Edge killed it. I know he basically will tune a knife if he has to um, and get it perfect. I have not touched this since I got it. Um, I have literally just flicked the shit out of it. No no pivot walk, no nothing. Um, no blade play, no lock rock, none of the issues you would think of. It's rock solid and does that. It's fantastic. I talked about carry. It's great. And then I've talked about the blade a bit it's a fantastic cutter guys um what i love about it is the hollow is so damn thin right and that flat is done so well so getting into packaging all that kind of stuff cardboard it works so well yet it has that secondary tip and that is why i prefer it over the drop point uh, it has that secondary tip for packages and i love to just drop so she said, I love to just drop the tip in and give it a little slice. And that will ensure I get into the package without cutting into any of the product, right? Um, and it, a Tanto works so well for that. And I'm the type of guy that I, you know, I cut packages open mostly. That's mostly what I do with a knife. Um, so I really like Tantos. That's just kind of how it is. It, you, you're going to like the thing that helps you the most with what you do. And I do that more than anything, and Tantos are fantastic for it. So I really love Tantos, you know? Um, so yeah, guys, just an absolutely fantastic knife. Uh, I don't know if I need to go into sounds, but here we go. Just has a... Just has its own kind of acoustics, to be honest. Um... Uh, this is another knife, if I was in the dark, I would know what knife you're flicking in the corner. You can just hear Chavez when it flicks open. It just has that sound. Chavez. Like, I don't know. I love it. Um, yeah, so that's it, guys. Just a quick uh, review, I guess, on this knife. I went through the full process. Sorry for anyone who's seen my other reviews on the 229, but this is different to me. This is a modded one. This was 500 bones, the way it is. Uh, I would definitely pay that again. Um, I would definitely recommend you pay it. If you have one lined up, you can get one. Like I said, he has the drop points available, I think. Um, at least he did. He had like 10, of, 10 or 12 of them when I asked him, and I sent a video out to people, and I think he sold a few of those, but um, I'm sure he still has a good handful. Um, dead centered perfect action he tunes them to perfection um you just get i don't know you just get a really good product when it goes through the hands of riot knives ramon chavez and then to top it off fanatic edge it's just like it, what comes out of that is just absolute fantastic knife is what it is so um that's it 
I love you guys so much. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will catch you later.